you look at our statistics and our data, you realize that torture is one of the highest violations. With this project, our staff managed to get knowledge and skills on how to investigate torture. And uh, this project helped us to bring on board um, other stakeholders who would be able to uh, prevent torture. That means the magistrates, judges were on board, police, prisons. Because of the training, our investigators are now better equipped, better skilled, and more experienced in on how to investigate torture. Um, you realize that because they are doing thorough, prompt and effective investigations, um, victims are not losing cases in the tribunal. They know what to look out for, they know how to interpret torture-related cases, and they know what means what. And the most important uh, is they know how to, t how to deal and interview witnesses, especially vulnerable people, women, children, and traumatized victims. Um, the manual investigations is supposed to be something really simple for people to work with. I mean, how do you conduct an investigation? What is needed? What are the tools? What are the do's and the don'ts? It's very easy to have loads of information, but being able to transmit that information in a simplified way sort of sh uh, sharpens your skills and abilities. We always have to, to think that we are a country that is aiming to be governed by the rule of law. You're a suspect until proven guilty. And there are different ways of collecting information without actually torturing. Uh, and that would be to the security agencies. And we have to remember history. This commission was not formed from a very good history. It had, we had high reports of torture then um, that made to the formulation of this commission. So I think taking people back to that place, where do you want to go? Do you want to go back to the past or can we look for a better way to do things to ensure that we promote and protect human rights, which was a cry of the public. I have seen victims suffer. I have seen victims die because of uh, torture. So I, uh, it goes to, uh, it's really uh, it's something that, my, that I am very passionate about. It is interesting and promising to see institutions that previously were at the, at the topmost uh, of, of uh, committing torture coming together to say, no, we have to stop this, we have to eliminate this. But for everyone who's tortured, there's a story. There's a story, there's a family. Many of us look at the face, but there's, there are a lot of impacts in that. So my personal reflection is really questioning mindsets and getting to be able to contribute to something that I hope in future would help this nation.